And so we've got Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! going on everybody welcome back to another detroit lions video now we've had quite a bit of news over the last couple 24 ish hours including re-signings made by the detroit lions renegotiations for current lions players as well as rumors about potential lions of the future so today we're going to go over everything that's happened over the last day or so look at the re-signings renegotiations and rumors and talk about everything related to the detroit lions so with that being said let's kick it off with the newest member of the detroit lions that being jalen reeves maven the 2021 detroit lions special teams captain after spending a year in the houston system with lovey smith and the texans jalen reeves maven is officially returning to detroit likely as a replacement for josh woods a lot of people think this is a potential chris board re-signing i don't think that jalen reeves maven has the ability to play on the defensive side of the ball like chris board did and make the impact on the defense that chris board did i think he is more a josh woods special teams captain replacement actually coming in to replace the guy that replaced him this year of course Jalen Reeves maybe did leave in the 2022 offseason signing with the Houston Texans and Josh Woods replaced replaced him as the special teams captain now Jalen Reeves maybe returns to reclaim his role on the Detroit Lions special teams has some ability to start on the defense if he needs to has the experience starting on the defensive side of the ball if he so needs but I think this is more of a special team signing a really cheap contract but adding really good special teams captains and special teams depth to this Detroit Lions squad I think this is a really good pickup by the Detroit Lions and a great move by brad holmes now moving on to the restructures of the day this morning halapaloi vitae vitae agreed to cut his base salary from 9.4 million dollars to 1.21 and his overall cap it from well over 12 million to just over four and a half it clears up over 7.8 million dollars of cap space for the detroit lions right now and that leaves the detroit lions currently with 26.1 Four eight million dollars in cap space to utilize now about 12 maybe 13 million of that is going to go to your draft class with two first rounders two second rounders and a third rounder with eight picks overall and five in the top 100 the draft class is going to be relatively expensive but that gives you almost 13 million dollars to go out and make some more moves and go out and find some more signings now there are rumors that dj chark or marvin jones could be returning to the detroit lions but I think that you clear up this kind of money for bigger deals. I think you clear up this kind of money for a superstar, for a trade candidate, for a splash player, because there's no way Marvin Jones is going to command 13. There's no way that DJ Chark commands more than eight. And you have $13 million to play with. Now, there is, of course, always the chance that they could just be clearing up that money for a rainy day, maybe looking to invest a little bit more in maybe DJ Chark and a backup quarterback and some other smaller position. But the rumor is the Detroit Lions are looking for a splash. And there's two candidates that really make the most sense for that splash. Those two are DeForest Buckner, who last season for the Indianapolis Colts had eight sacks. 29 quarterback pressures, 10 quarterback knockdowns, 9 quarterback hurries, and 74 combined tackles in 17 games, or a younger option and a cheaper option, at least from the cap space financial point, would be Ed Oliver, who last year for the Buffalo Bills had two hurries, 11 knockdowns, two and a half sacks, 16 pressures, as well as 34 combined tackles he played just 13 games for the buffalo bills it was a really good interior pass rusher for them 
And that is currently the rumor as of right now. There is also a rumor that is floating around Twitter saying the Lions could potentially be looking to make an even bigger splash and bring in all pro defensive tackle Quinn and Williams, which would obviously be amazing. However, I think that is a little bit more unlikely as the Jets are looking to contend. And I think it's unlikely that they would be giving away their best defensive player in order to get Aaron Rodgers. But you never know. So the Detroit Lions do have the money to bring in either Ed Oliver or DeForest Buckner with about $13 million this year in cap space in order to go out and get a star defensive lineman. More of a sure thing than what you're going to get in the draft. More of a absolute certainty than what you're going to get out of Jalen Carter from this draft class. And overall, I think anything would be good for this Detroit Lions. Either trade, whether it be Buckner, whether it be Oliver, whether it be Quinn and Williams. I know that they're all going to be relatively expensive from a capital loss as well as a cap space financial loss. But all of them would make this defensive line even scarier than it already is. And there is potential the Lions are looking to make a splash. So with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoy the Detroit Lions content and want more, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And of course, let me know down in the comments below what you think the Lions are looking to do. But with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, go Lions.